Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are going to explore one of China's most prolific serial killers, Huang Yong, who was dubbed the teenage killer, having murdered at least 17 boys and young men aged between 15 and 21. Huang was born in Pinyu County, Henan Province, on the 18th of November 1974, the son of pig farmers. Following a tour of duty in the People's Liberation Army, Huang became a migrant laborer. In September 2001, Huang commenced his murder spree, stating, I've always wanted to become an assassin since I was a kid, but I never had the chance. Huang's modus operandi was, while his parents were away raising pigs, to lure teenage boys from video halls, internet cafes, and video arcades in Zhengzhuang village, Pinyu County, to his house. He would concoct a number of lies to get the boys to his home, ranging from offering to recommend them for well-paying jobs, to fund their schooling, telling them that he had developed a new video game called God Riding on a Wooden Horse, as well as sightseeing tours. Once at his home, he forced them to lie on a wooden table, tying their hands and feet and forcing them to count to 1,000, drugged the youths, raped them, and strangled them to death with a rope before burying the bodies in his backyard. Within the villages of Pinyu County, numerous children went to boarding schools with their parents' migrant workers. With children attending boarding schools and their parents living in a different city, children would hang out at the internet cafes and video arcades. Children would hang out at the internet cafes and video arcades from which Huang kidnapped them. When the first victim went missing, his parents went to the police to report their son missing. However, local authorities stated that without a body, we can't have a case. Local authorities refused to launch an investigation when parents reported their children missing. And boarding schools failed to alert parents that their children were not coming to class. Huang got so brazen as a killer that he left two cut-off hands and two notes at an internet cafe that he frequented in an attempt to toy with police, but was not investigated. Between September 2001 and November 2003, Huang kidnapped 18 boys. In September 2003, frustrated and angry parents went to Beijing, the capital of China, to seek help. It was only then that the local police agreed to look into the disappearance. On the 7th of November 2003, Huang kidnapped 16-year-old Zhang Lei. When choked, Zhang lost consciousness three times. However, he kept trying to talk Huang out of killing him, feeding Zhang instant noodles and torturing him with needle wounds in his stomach. Zhang stayed alive for four days. He attempted to escape twice but was thwarted by Huang. On the fourth day, the 11th of November 2003, Huang paced back and forth in his house, muttering to himself, Kill, don't kill. Zhang then responded, If you let me go, I will take care of you when you are old. Subsequently, Zhang was released by Huang. Police initially refused to believe Zhang before they went to Huang's home and on the 12th of November 2003, dug up decomposing bodies of boys in his backyard, with the final two bodies dug up by forensic investigators and journalists on the 17th of April 2004. Arrested on the 9th of December 2003, 29-year-old Huang Yong was sentenced to death for 17 murders. He told Zhang during his torture that he had killed 25 boys, however he could only be convicted of 17 murders. Amidst 50,000 protesters outside the courtroom, courtroom spokesman Sun, my apologies but we could not find his first name, greeted protesters and stated that due to the premeditated murder, Huang was sentenced to death with his political rights taken away for the rest of his life. Huang's life would not last that much longer and he was executed by firing squad 17 days later on the 26th of December 2003.
Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.